kebana liva dalida o lawo tempestasi guide us guide us keep us feed us for we have no help but possess in every blessing if our god our father be savior breed forgiveness for us all of our weakness thou didst know thou didst tread this earth before us thou didst feel his skin is lone and weary faint and weary through the desert of this go spirit of our god descending fill our hearts with heavenly joy love with every feeling blending pleasures that can ever go thus provided but unguided nothing can our peace destroy so this morning family in christ Walking by the Spirit of God direction this morning to take it to the next level. Giving honor and glory to Almighty God this morning. Father, we praise you and we glorify you. For your name is worthy to be praised and your name is worthy to be held in counsel. We thank you for spared life and tender mercy that you have waken us up this morning so that we could breathe the breath of life. We could speak. Our tongue is not stick to the roof of our mouth and our eyes is not shut. So this morning, we come to thank you for love and peace and understanding and reckoning of life and understanding that our bones, are, are even though the bones are, are weak, Lord, we thank you for strength, we thank you for courage, and we pray, oh God, that you will continue to bless our going out and coming in this morning as I bow to bow in prayer to give God praise and thanks for immaculate blessing that he has poured upon the Ark of the Covenant and its members through the corona and all through this virus, Lord. And we want to thank God that, you know, we are in the land of the living. We have not lost one. So we want to praise you this morning, Father, for your name is worthy to be held in counsel. So those who are on Zoom this morning, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus, our soon coming King. I pray, oh God, that you be smooth your bed and you give you rest. And this morning, as you turn your dial on, that we all could come in the unity of the Spirit in one love, one unity, one strength, so that the prayer will go into the canopy of heaven and the angel will rejoice. So may we bow this morning, eternal God. God of peace, God of love, God of understanding, Father, I your servant come this morning. Come in, Lord, weak and insufficient, Lord, but thanking you for spared life, Lord. This morning, take charge of my body, my soul, and my spirit, Lord. Touch me, Lord, as you touch David, Lord. Remember me, oh, this morning as you remember Daniel, Lord, in the lion's den. This morning, oh, come, Lord, as a mighty rushing wind, eh, cast out every doubt and fear. For thou art the God yesterday, today, and forever this morning. Lord God of Israel, uh, you come, come, come this morning, Lord. Father, Lord, look at the state and condition of the world this morning, Lord. 
We thank you, oh Lord, that we're still in the land of the living, Lord. Lord God, where our prayer and supplication can be made unto thee. Father, we thank you for the food we eat, the clothes we wear, and all that has been stored by thee. And thank you for your supplies this morning, oh Lord God, God of Israel, Jesus. Remember all oh, your spring of my body this morning, Jesus. Father, look at the state of the condition, oh God, fix our Lord to suit you, Lord. You know what I want to tell the head, oh God of Israel this morning. Look at my brothers and my sisters this morning, eh, my niece and my nephew, Jesus. Trinidad land in mercy, holy God, this morning, Lord. Father, come, come, come this morning, oh Jesus. Over land, tempest, you see. Father, Lord, you know my heart desire this morning, Lord. Father, Lord, you know my soul determination. My desire is to serve you, Lord. I pray, oh God, that you bless my waiting soul, Lord, and you do my body ever good. You strengthen my weak frame, Lord, that I may be able to worship you this morning. Look at the state and condition of my life. Look at the companion of my life, Lord. Look at every member of the Ark of the Covenant. Father, those, Lord, that are in serious problems this morning, I pray, oh God, you take charge. Father, fix homes, Lord. I beg you to bless going out and coming in. I beg you this morning to consecrate the heart. Make us, Lord, have a heart of love and understanding this morning. This morning, show our bed and give us rest. Father, speak to us, Lord, as you speak to Daniel this morning. Remember us, Lord, as you remember Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. Remember us, O oh God, as you remember Daniel in the lion's den. This morning, look at the state and condition, Lord. Father, Lord, look at America, land in mercy. Father, O oh God, pass by this... Pass by the churches this morning. Remember the hospitals, oh God. Father, Lord, you know man better than I do, Lord. Father, you know their needs and you know their wants, Lord. You know man upsetting and you know man down rising. This morning, take charge, blessed Father. Don't deal with us as we deserve, but pardon our going out and coming in. Remember, Lord, those that influence in our mind, blessed Master. Father, oh God, help us to understand who is God this morning. Help us to take our... Our lesson from the cross this morning, oh God. Help us to walk and be not weary, Father. They are the covenant again, Jesus. Father, Lord, look at those that are working on it, blessed Master. Look at the builders at this time, and our Father. Guide and protect them, oh God. Let everything be done in the decency and order this morning, Lord. Father, take my life and let it be this morning. Consecrate me now to thee. Take my moments and my days and let me flow in ceaseless praise. Every church and church chapel this morning, oh God. Father, those that lie in state this morning, oh God. Father, Lord, I bring them on to thee, oh God. This morning, take charge, blessed Father. Pass by the hospital, cut this morning, Jesus. Smooth bed and give them rest. Doctors, Lord, this morning, Father, nurses, blessed Father, assistants, and all those that are working in the hospitals, Jesus. All those that are lending a helping hand, Lord, to those that have a need this morning, Father, pass by, Lord. Father, Lord, pass by, oh God, help them to have love and compassion this morning. For, Lord, we need and we need a friend like dear friend to suit and pity. This morning, we need a friend to care. Remember our place of labor, Jesus. We thank you, oh God, Lord. We thank you for for providing our needs this morning, Lord. Father, take charge, O oh God, God of Israel. Master divine, remember my nieces and nephews, O oh God, I bring them all before you. Wherever they be at this time and hour, O oh God, keep them from the dumb road of perdition. Let Satan have no dominion over them, O oh God, but keep their eyes on the mark of the calling. Help them to know that you is God and God alone. You can create and you can destroy. I beg you, O oh God, call them, Lord, as you call me one day. Tell them all life and good to live and all death and good to die. This morning, sweet Jesus, hear me groaning and hear me pleading. Father, Lord, look at my life before you, O oh God. My desire is to serve you till you bless my waiting soul. And this will I do, my dying Lord. Father, Lord, I must remember thee creating me, O oh God, a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a, a clean hands and renew a right spirit within me, Father. Remember the spirit of love and peace, spirit of understanding, the spirit to teach, Lord. Father, O oh God, take charge upon my life this morning. 
Wherever thou lead me this morning, I will follow. Remember those that listen to the song of my voice this morning. Educate them for your work's sake. Bind us with love and understanding. Help them, Lord, to call you this morning. Father, heal us all from your broken heart, O oh God. Heal us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Send medicine to soothe the complain. You are the great doctor, Jesus. You are the great physician, Lord. I bring in Amanda before thee, O oh God, at this time and hour. Intervene if thou be so pleased. Father, you speak and it was done. You touch the lightning by the tip of your finger, Jesus. You create us, Lord, in your own image and likeness. Oh, God, Lord, and you breathe breath into us this morning. Remember, oh, God, Mother Anne Maria, the same. Father, remember the woman, Jesus. Touch her from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. Visit her, Jesus. Help her to know you better, better, blessed Master. Lamb of God, that take it away the sins of the world, graciously hear us this morning. Father, intervene in their lives, O oh God. Father, Lord, you know all things concerning us this morning, Lord. But I beg you, O oh God, to have your way within our lives. Help us to touch the hem of your garment, Lord. Father, Lord, and we know, Lord, we shall be made whole. You tell us faith this morning, Jesus. Build our faith, O oh God. Build our courage, Lord. Master, help us to walk and be not weary. Help us to stand firm in the liberty where you, Jesus, shall set us free. For my time is in your hand, O God. You be my judge and jury. And in casting conviction, remember us in mercy. This morning, Lord, hear me crying, O God, and hear me begging. Father, Lord, Lord, God of Israel, take charge upon us, blessed Master. Look at mankind, Jesus. Look at mankind this morning, O God. Father, look at mankind, Jesus. Every heart of a need and a want this morning, oh God. But I beg you supply we need, Lord, if it's thy will this morning. Father, hear me crying, Lord. I bring in Mother Mo wherever she be at this time. Touch the heart of the child, I beg you. Consecrate her, Lord, to deal. keep her on a safe and a narrow track that leads to light. Help her to hang and to hold and to wrestle like the Jacob of all. This morning, Lord, you know my heart, desire Jesus. Father, you know soul determination. Remember these children in mercy, oh God. Father, I thank you for them, Jesus. I thank you for the time that you spend with them, oh God. I pray, oh God, that they learn something. Blessed Father, my God and my Redeemer this morning, look down upon me, Father, weak and insufficient. Father, Lord, but I'm depending upon you every, every step that I make. I'm depending upon you, oh God. I'm depending upon you to hold me lest I fall. For I need you. I need a friend this morning. Grant me courage, oh God. This morning, Lord, grant me hope, Father. I'm hoping, Lord, and I'm trusting in your, in your word. Your promise, you will never leave me comfortless this morning. And I'm holding you to it, Jesus. You said, if I give you my heart, you won't give me a kingdom. Help me to wrestle this morning. Jesus. Father, help me to wrestle this morning, oh God. Remember my spiritual increase. Remember the grandchildren in mercy. Remember all those that listen to the song of my voice again, God. Hear us this morning, Father. Remember all these young children, Jesus. Remember these young children, oh God. Father, look at the decisions that they're making, oh God. I beg you. I beg you, oh God, to talk with them, blessed Jesus. Father, Lord, help them to make right decisions this morning. Help them to make right decisions, oh God, for their life depend upon the decisions that they make. Father, Lord, stretch forth your hands, oh God, and hold them lest they fall. For we depend upon you night and day that you, Lord, will be the guardian and the guide. My God and King, remember every church and chapel, all those that circle around me this morning, I bring them in charge. Oh God, look at St. Anne's Court in mercy, Father. Oh Lord, look at St. John Ministry there, God. Mount Pisgah this morning, I bring them all before you. Oh God, look at all the ministering staff. Look at the members of the house of God this morning. Take charge, blessed Father. Bishop John in mercy, oh God. Father, I thank you for my brother, oh God. Bishop Kali are the same. Father, all those that my duty bound to pray for, Lord. All those I lay my hands upon. Father, all those that are about to come this morning, fix me to suit you, oh God. Fix me to suit you, Lord, that I will be able to do thy will and to do it in spirit and in truth. I thank you 
for Auntie Owen this morning, Lord. I thank you for the woman servant. Remember the offspring of her body. Remember her grands and in-laws in mercy, oh God. Bless the going out and coming in. This morning, cover them under your blood. This morning, take charge, Lord. Father, Lord, I thank you this morning, Jesus. Remember Mother Maureen, Jesus. Mother Monroe this morning, Father. Smooth her bed and give her rest. Sanctify the body, the soul, and the spirit. Whatever is going on, Lord, with the woman, I pray, oh God, you be the director in her life this morning, Lord. Father, I thank you for, the, for, for all what you have done. Remember my spiritual mother, teacher Jones, this morning. Oh God, Lord, you know what I want to tell you concerning her. But I beg you to bless her going out and coming in. I beg her to fix you, to suit you, Lord. Keep us the apple of your eye. Father, Lord, and when the time should come, I pray, O oh God, that she have safe passage, Master Divine Lord. For I know, Lord, one day we will meet in Jesus' almighty name. In Jesus' almighty name. In Jesus' almighty name. I will lift up my eyes onto the hill, summons, commit my help. This morning, I know my help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Father, Lord, I know you will suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth me will never slumber. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite me by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall reserve me from all evil. He shall reserve my soul. He shall reserve my going out and my coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Into thy hands I recommend my body, my soul, and my spirit to your kind keeping, Jesus. This I ask in other name, but in Jesus' almighty name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to Almighty God. Jesus, thou son of the living army, creator of mankind, Lord God of Israel. Father, we thank you this morning. For once I was blind, but now I could see. This morning, God of peace and glory. Family, this morning, what a mighty God we serve. I want to have a, a little conversation with you before the time has run out on me. And it's too, and this word that I want to talk to you about is influence. But before I do that, I want to remind my brothers and sisters and family in Christ that on March 13 and on March 20th, the Ark of the Covenant will present uh, Women in Mission one more time, our annual Women in Mission one more time. And we pray, oh God, that we will, you know, you will tune in and support us. On this Sunday, I have my spiritual sister, teacher Nita, will be the guest speaker at the Ark of the Covenant. I trust that you all will tune in and bless us with your voices singing and praising God in some form and fashion. This morning, I want to bless you. I pray, God, that you would remember me. And we would have the, um, the Zoom online so that you would be able to plug in. So this morning, family in Christ, my word to you is influence. And, and in, I, I, have an, I had an encounter. And I want to say to those online, and this is a serious business, be careful of those who are influencing you. Careful with those who you're listening. Careful with those who you're taking direction from. The Bible says, the arms of flesh that fail us, we dare not trust our own. We are living in a world and in a time that we have to be careful. We have to focus. The Bible says, prove all things and hold fast to that which is good. When we are influencing people, we have to be very careful in the choices we make. Because we have to remember that eyes is upon us. People are listening. They are taking notes. And we could either be a good example, example or a bad influence. In being a good example, we have to do things that is pleasing unto God. And also pleasing unto Caesar because we are living in the world. 
And the word of God says, give unto Caesar what is Caesar and give unto God what is God. So what I am saying to you, you have to abide by the laws of God. And in order to, to, in order to walk this walk, we have to know God. Because those that influence in us can be terrible for our spiritual growth and our, our carnal life, lack for a better word. You know, I was listening some some chatting with some friends of mine, or or what I would say, some. You know, it, it, it is a variety of people. Some those that are look listening, and those who are looking, and those who are hearing, and those who you know, um, who is condemning, because I've got a I have got a piece of every. I don't mind the condemnation because people condemn what they don't understand. And I realize that everybody has to live their life according to their will and according to their heart desire and according to the God in which they serve. Because I'm recognizing that we all don't serve the same God. Mm -hmm. We all don't eat the same food. And I understand that. And as I understand that, I want to say to my brethren, be good examples to others. Be careful who you're listening to. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. If you cannot say good, don't say nothing at all. And know who you're talking to. Because sometimes we are dealing with people who are at the edge. And any wrong thing you say could lead that person onto destruction. So we have to be very careful in what we do. Let our good deeds shine. So that God may, so that man may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. If in, in corporate America, where we where some work in, in these big companies, be careful who is your advisor. Be careful with your job because you don't know who won the job. Careful what they're saying to you. Make sure you test the ink before you write. Be a good listener. Because it's not what goes in defiles you, it's what comes out of you. And we all know that we have a little short screws. I have a short one. Sometimes I, you can rub me the wrong way. That does not mean to say that you doesn't have God if you rub the wrong way. I always say this is the flesh in me. But day after day and night after night, we try to amend our ways. So today, my beloved brethren, be careful of what you're consuming. In order to praise God and to truly praise God. Because I'm, many a times, you know, you, you, we go around and we see people praising God and jumping up, hallelujah. But they don't know why they're jumping. They're jumping is like, you know how they say, monkey see, monkey do. So we're doing it, but we do not understand. We do not understand praising God, what the word of God said unto us. We praise God because God is good to you. You're blessing. You have to understand the Bible says the sheep know the master voice and the master know the sheep by name. How you could pray something you don't understand. How you could pray something that you don't know. You're not acquainted with. So first have to learn who God is and who his son is. And understand that his son came to die for Adam fallen race. Everyone. Even. Even when we are blessed, many a times we do not recognize God's blessing because we are so tied up in those that influence it and according to their behavior, according to what they have or what they're getting, it, it comes and it has a jealousy. And that jealousy causes conflict. That jealousy causes confusion. And it starts now to have a bitter influence. And you're not looking in the mirror and looking to see yourself and understand where you're sitting. Uh, when you work hard and God bless you, aren't you happy? And you want to rejoice, you're free to do that. That is part of our life. 
The Lord said, when you, when you work for God and God bless you, you have to rejoice. Remember the woman that had said, she said she had a, some, um, that had, had lost her money and she calls her friends and they, when they find it, to come and give God praise. It's finding ourselves. Do not get, do not get, let someone influence you to walk on the, on the, on the left hand side of the road. When you realize, when you know you should be walking on the right. You know you're a sheep, but you're trying to be a goat. Check yourself. Look at those who are influencing you. Look at their behavior. Look at their attitude. Look at their action. The Bible said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness shall be added unto you. That is what the word of God said. That is not what teacher Martha said. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness is going to be added to you. That does not mean to say you wouldn't go through some trials because we're living in a world where they have bad influence. And, and we have to take it. Recognize it. Recognize it. When you recognize something, you can live with it. Recognize it. Careful while we are bitter in other people's water. Careful how you're destroying your friend. Remember when you're digging a pit for your neighbor, dig one for yourself. For God's eyes is not blind. His ears is not deaf. And neither his hands are too short. What he say he will do, he will do. All you have to do is to hold your part of the bargain. But what happens in our life, brethren, is that we hold it today while things are rough. And when things are not good, we forget it. Sometimes if, when things are good, even I get up in the morning and say, oh, I didn't read my, my lesson today. Or I didn't, oh, but I'm going to try to read it during the day. But when things are on, on fire, <laughs> by the time I turn, I'm getting up in the night, all hour in the night, and I'm praying. I can't go to the washroom. I'm in the washroom. You know, sometimes Bishop Abhi say, you're staying so long. It's because I'm praying. Because I know that I need a savior. Because there is no man on earth to solve the problem. So I am telling my family and those that are listening and following, careful to those that you're listening to. Careful where you're standing. Today they tell us, you know, that when you're standing, check up, check out your surroundings. Not every green teeth is a laugh. Value yourself. Don't let somebody tell you what you worth. You have to know your value. No one controls us but God. Where we are, we have respect. This is it. You have to respect. We have manners and we have behavior. But no one must control our minds. That we are, our minds are controlled by Almighty God. We make choices. And when we make choices, make sure that you, you check in with the master. It's not to say, brother, we don't know. And if you don't know, in making your decision, you're knocking at the door. This is what the Lord said, you know. He said, knock and the door shall be open. The word said, seek and you shall find. What does that mean? From the time we get up in the morning, we have to ask the Lord God to take us through. Be our guardian and our guide. You hear me saying it all the time. When I'm praying all the time. Because without God we cannot do anything. When, did, when, when you do not have the Holy Spirit. You're a dead man or a dead woman. There is no life. There is no purpose. We hear it all the time. All of a sudden we're hearing. I, 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 I feel like killing myself. I, we're hearing it a lot. Let us. Let us family in Christ. Speak. The Lord comfort. <laughs> Family.
the Lord comfort us. Practice what you hear and practice what you preach. That is our problem. We're not practicing what we preach. And I am saying careful with what you're listening to. Careful. Learn to sift. Learn to sift it. If it's not, if, if it not adding up, with God say the Lord, check yourself. If it's not adding up, and if you have any doubt, something is wrong with it. With God, we doesn't have, you, I just, you know, when we hear the word of God, enter. It has no doubt, you know. No doubt. If you meet someone who are fully persuaded, or someone who is called by God, I ain't talking about someone who just want to follow a friend. But I'm speaking about someone who are influenced by the Holy Spirit of God. And when I say that, I want to, I want to, I want to explain this. Teacher Grace might be in the church. She may not know who is looking at her and who is not looking at her. But somebody in that house there might be influenced by her, by her walk. She, now she had opened her mouth yet. By the way she presents herself. Her mannerism. And somebody on the road on work or somewhere, wherever you be. And somebody's taking note. You don't know. But if we only get up. And open your mouth. You have to be very careful because that time, that is when the time comes. Because the Bible said it's not what goes in, you know, it's what comes out of you. And when you start to open your mouth, the child saying that I want to be just like that lady. Now you walk in going your way, you don't know. So we have to be careful. I remember I was only maybe about 14 years old and saw my spiritual mother and father walking in when there was a dinner. And I said, one day, one day, I and my husband will walk that walk. I didn't even dream to marry or even think about it yet. I was so young. But it took place. Whatever we, whatever we ask of God. And he said, you must ask in a broken and a contrite heart. That God grant us the desire of our heart. The sincerity of the heart. Family, when you ask God for something. And you ask with the sincerity of the heart. You're waiting 20 years for it. God does deliver. In the right time. In the right place. God deliver. I want to reference to you Hagar. Remember Hagar? Hagar was influenced by Sarah. And when Sarah asked her, Sarah, <laughs> encourage Hagar. Because she tells herself she wouldn't be pregnant at all. So she decided she wants to keep the husband. So instead of that, she decided, no, she don't want to wait on God now. She gone to the little slave girl. After the child, after Ega already get pregnant, you know what she decided? No, she jealous now. Jealous now. And now gone, go on to Abraham now to get rid of she. You don't want me again. You don't want to use me no more. So I ain't good no more. And what did he do? He packed she up and sent she off. We have to be very careful how we like to put blame on one and then take it for ourselves. 
We have to be careful how we influencing people to do the things that we want them to do and then blame them. Careful. Sarah destroy her. And not only throw her out, you know, but she threw her out with a child. Destroy. Rejected. But there's a man they call God. There's a spirit that called God. That man have all different type of name for. Man must recognize the difference between God and the devil. And many a times I am learning from being where I sit in here that man don't know the difference. Very few of us know the difference. We need to recognize, brethren, that Satan is an enemy who seeking to kill, steal, and destroy. That's his job. Don't get vexed with the devil for doing the job if you are not doing yours. His purpose is to destroy God's people. And that spirit enters in, in each and every one of us at some time or the other. Remember sitting, remember on, 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 um, when they were sitting up on the table when Jesus, when, when um, Judas was right there? The Bible says, Satan about to enter into the heart of Judas is carried. He was not always there. It's just like I am sitting here and you are wherever you are. And then the thought come in our mind. And we give solid, we, we, we give a basin to it. Instead of we should deny that and say, Satan, I recognize you. The Lord said, touch not the Lord's anointed and do the prophet no harm. But instead of that, brethren, we compromise ourselves. And all the devil do, he just knock. Open the door. And we walk in. And when we finish now, we want to blame the devil. The devil doing his job. You and I have to do our job. Careful in influencing other people. In your walk, in your talk, in your behavior, in your dress. Every code you have, careful. You know, when I was growing up, my parents used to say, you're not walking out, uh, out of this house like that, you know. You have to be properly attired to walk out of here. As long as, you, as, long as Anna heard you turn in that key, you have to walk out of the house properly well attired. She said charity begins at home and it ends abroad. If you can't control them in the house, you can't control them outside. And if they're walking naked inside, they will walk naked outside. When we grow up now, we allow our children to do whatever they want because you know what? They're grown. But we forget something, brother. Whatever the child do, it falls on you. Careful how we influencing our children, our friends, our husband, our, our co-worker. Husband, be careful how you influence your sons and your daughters. Don't blame them for the mistakes you made. Check yourself. Satan come to kill, steal, and destroy. That is his job. Recognize it. Anytime, and listen, anytime thoughts, bad thoughts come in your heart, it is not of God. And if it is not of God, who is it of? Remember us? The Lord created us in his own, Im created us in his own image and in likeness. We did not create ourselves. We are programmed. We have to make the decision and careful 
We, how we influence our children, the, the, the grandchildren, children around us, people, children, everybody. What I would, what I'm trying to say, each and every one of us have our own. We are, we did not drop from a tree. I have a mother and father. You have a mother and father. We all. And every parent loves their child. So we have to be very careful how we influence in others. Don't serve a, 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 a bad plate of food because you don't want it. If it's not good for you, it's not good for anybody. Check yourself. Satan job is to destroy. That is, that, is, that is the purpose why he's here. From since in the beginning of time, you know, you all are great readers and collegiates and all these things. Read it carefully. From in the time, go back to the beginning, that's his job. The reason why the Lord said it, that's how we send in thought, words, and deeds. It is because that is his job. Thoughts. But God refresh and renew. <laughs> Hallelujah. But God refresh and God renew the right spirit within you. If you're a child of God and you're recognized, now you have to recognize, you know. And that is the problem here. We waited. You have to recognize that something wrong in you and you're ready for change. If you and recognize that something is wrong, some, that person is influencing you in the wrong way, then there will be no change. But you got to recognize it. I cannot do it for you. I could complain to you, but you have to recognize it. You have to feel the pain in order to want to make the change. Regardless of our circumstances, our social status, how many times we are knocking at God's door. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. He's going to strengthen you. Don't get tired of knocking. Patience is a virtue. This is what happens to us. When we get tired waiting on God, we slip into outer darkness and then we get influenced with the wrong crowd. So we have to wait. Uh, we, we have to work on our patience. And remember, if it is smelling good, it ain't good. <laughs> don't try to taste it. If it is looking good, remember what God said. You know, don't look at it. But if you look at it, you have to be very careful. As you're looking at them, look at them and make sure sift it well. You don't want you do not want bitter or sweet. It's either it's sweet or it's bitter. Make a choice. It doesn't matter how much time you are knocked down. It doesn't matter how much time you fall into outer darkness, influenced by the wrong person. It doesn't matter how much time they betray you, beat you. You get weak. One thing I want to say to you. We cannot escape God. All we have to do is let go and let go. You know, my, my, my elder used to sing, come into my life. Come into my life. Sweet Jesus. Come in to stay. Come in to stay, come into my life, sweet Jesus. My, you know, she used to sing that word. Sometimes we get in there and we, you're coming around the bed and when you reach it, you hear us singing that your voice like mine hardly could sing me. We, we losing it. But anytime I hear that, I was a child. I wasn't there from since I was 11 years old. So from the time I hear that as a grown up, I know. Today, we're getting into that house and you better be on your guard. Because she's about to shake down this house. 
today, brethren. We coming into God anyhow. Satan walking in with you in the house of God. Satan afraid house of God no more. That is where he is. He's there to influence, destroy. So we cannot escape it. God cares for us and he loves us. His love is sufficient to keep us. God provide Ega. Provide for Ega and her son. So that they was able to survive. What God said he will do, he will do. Do not be influenced by anything else but the truth. And the truth comes in the word of God. Take it up with the word of God. Someone said to me, what type of God God will do if he do so? Hold up, I want to explain it to you. Go to Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. And this is what he say. If you do this, you will be blessed. But if you do this, you will be cursed. Man doesn't want to hear about that. Very few churches, you're going any and you're hearing, they're preaching about the curse. We are, we, we are, we, we're getting bad influence inside the house because man is, God is, they're not telling us the truth. Everything good and dandy, that's a lie. If you're not do, if you if I am not walking right and not doing the things that God wants me to be, you hear what my spiritual mother said? She said, "If the river dirty, the water dirty too." So, Martha, check yourself and make sure the river that runs the water is clean and you can see it. She said, "You know, when you go to the ocean, it has, you could go there, put your foot in it, you could see a foot. When you when the water in the house, you must be able to see a foot, your feet." We have to be careful. And I am saying today, those of us that are sitting in the seat, check yourself. Family and friends, where you're working. When I, say, when I am explaining sitting in the seat, I remember what I said. I am teacher Martha with my clothes on and I am teacher Martha with my clothes off. Because man did not give me that. I was ordained by God. And that is anybody who is listening online. That God has called you by a name. You are who you are with it on and with it off. Because when you die and the time when you die and God call you. He ain't going to be calling you by your name. He will, he will put a handle to your name as you say. And you have to answer to the call. Remember, remember Adam in the garden? It's God who named him. So that when God called, he know, he know that he broke the law. So he wasn't able to answer. He didn't have the ability. He didn't have the assurance. And he didn't know what to do. But I am saying to you, the God that I teach a mother serve is a God of love. Is a God of peace. A God of forgiveness. But you have to want it. You have to play a cause before God. I could pray for you. But you have to go and tell God your story. And you have to tell the Lord a sincere story. You can't tell the Lord a story today and change it tomorrow. And change it tomorrow. Make up your mind. The Bible talk about... Uh, uh, um, Forget the word, but goodness. It talk about the uh, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. What I am saying, it's in the book of God, brethren, in the holy book, the book. Do you see the Bible? What it says, our chart and compass, it is all right there. Careful in what we're doing. I am saying, I am listening. My phone is ringing out. And careful how to influence in God's people. And sometimes these, these people take it up and they go on. And when you do catch yourself, they're like a bird without feathers. They can't, without wings, they can't fly. Somebody has to come and mend their ways. And when you're coming to mend your ways, it's like a child that's sucking their finger all the time. What you have to try, you know, it comforts them. 
we have to now ban it up and do all different type of things. So, you know, to lose that custom. Be careful. Because sometimes they're ending up in our lap. Be careful what we're doing, brethren. Because remember, a time is coming when we have to answer to God. So careful in how we influence in God's people. God is a provider. He will not leave you comfortless. He said, knock and the door shall be open. He said, seek and you shall find. Trust God with all your heart. In, God, in time like these, we need a savior. And God is not slack concerning his promise. The Lord is with grace and peace and love. And unity. Family in Christ about to bring the man of God. Bishop Ashby. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Today we glorify the Almighty God that he has brought us from the beginning of the week. As we approach the end of the week, we want to give him praise because if we know, if as we know, if it had not been for God who was on our side, you know, we would not have been able to make it successfully. Uh, and I want to praise God for that. Today, our lesson shall be taken from um, Philippians, the second chapter from the sixth verse. Philippians, the second chapter from the sixth verse. Jesus, the balance we hold on to the balance we hold on. Jesus, the balance we hold on to the balance we hold on. Jesus, the balance we hold on to the balance we hold on. Jesus, the balance we hold on. To the balance we hold on. Jesus, the balance we hold on. To the balance we hold on. Jesus, the balance we hold on. Praise God. If all is found here, begin at the reading of God's holy word, taking from Philippians, the second chapter from the sixth verse. Who being in the form of God, though thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the, on, of the cross. Wherefore, God ha also has exalted him and given him a name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, Every knee shall bow, and every thing in heaven, and everything in earth, and everything under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. We will rest in the 11th verse, in no other name, but in Jesus' almighty name. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now as ever shall be, well, without end. Amen. Today we glorify the Almighty God, as I say. Uh, today is truly a day that has burst from eternal ages, a day that was not promised to you and I, but by the mercies of the Almighty God, He has so it fitting that you and I should embark upon this God-given day. And I say God-given because if it had not been for God, as I said earlier, how could we continue? The lesson today, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal to God. Uh, today, after all it, 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 after all is said and done, we cannot deny the fact that we are all made in the image and likeness of God himself and not another. We must keep in mind that Jesus the Christ existed, <laughs> that Christ's existence did not begin in the manger in Jerusalem, but his existence was eternal as is of God. Being in the form of, 
it tells us that <laughs> being in a form of, <laughs> can we change who we are or the condition when we were born? No. It was God who, who in Jeremiah enlightened us to know that even when or before we were in our mother's womb, he has known us and fashioned us to become who we are today to the fulfillment of his purpose. Let us now keep in mind that our Lord lost possession of the divine essence did not cease to be a fact when he came to earth uh, to assure human form. That is to say, Jesus or God did not give up any of his authority when he was sent from heaven, sent from sitting at the right hand of the Father, the authority still remained with him. Although he was, you know, <coughs> sent among flesh that he may walk and talk. Being, the word being <coughs> describes if I am being, I am. Who I am defines my action and in the form thereof. The being on an equal, <coughs> hello, being equal with God. Just because that I am who God said I am, I was created in the image and likeness of God. It, uh, uh, me being who I am would define my action. We oftentimes say it like this, you would know the, the tree by the fruit. You don't know the, you know the, Today we glorify the Almighty God in that our action will define who we are. Jesus said, Have I been so long with you, and yet have ye not known me? He, he who had seen me has seen the Father, and how said thou, show us the Father? Jesus again illustrated. He said, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, He is one. There is no separation between God and man. The Father, the Bible illustrates to us of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Three in one and one into three. There was a reason why the Bible speaks of the Trinity. And all the, them working together for the same purpose. It is like unto my hand. My brain directs the function of the functioning of my body. But the brain does not, the hand does not act out independently against the, the instruction of the brain. This is to say, we who are of Christ would not act unseemly or out of character. In the book of Amos, it says, can two walk together unless they agree? The flesh and the spirit must come into agreement at some point that we may be able to carry out the will of the Father, else there be enmity. For together we will aspire, and together we will achieve. Romans says, For I say, though the grace be given unto you, to every man that is among you, not to think himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly according to God, who has dealt to every man the measure of faith. In other words, don't let your gift cause you to lose the crown. For there is no profit in gaining the whole world and losing your soul. But we ought to boast in the Lord, thy, our God, for he is good and has been merciful unto us. The seventh verse, but made him of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. Made him of no reputation. I admire Jesus. I personally admire Jesus that he, what, he took no credit for himself. He said, I am on my father's business. Many times we say, you know what, I'm minding my own business. And John says, who 
whosoever ye shall, uh, whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. We do nothing of ourselves, but we do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Remember, he said he took upon him the form of a servant and made in the likeness of men. Many would and do take full credit for the gifts which God has given unto us, not realizing that as the Lord giveth, he also taketh away. Remember Job, having much, yet God saw it fit that he should strip him. In the book of Genesis, Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I have dreamed a dream, and there is none that can interpret it. And I have heard it said of thee that thou can understand a dream to interpret it. Joseph answered and said unto Pharaoh, saying, It is not me. God shall give Pharaoh answer to, to, to peace. It is God that provides. It is God that gives us instruction. It is God who gives us the insight. So we ought to humble ourselves that the outpouring of God's blessing would continue and we would not cause a blockage thereof. It says what? He took upon him the form of a servant. Matthew says it. He says, even as the Son, even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered to, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Christ didn't come to be exalted. He didn't come to, lift, to be lifted up. But he came as a servant in the likeness of man that he would show us how to walk Amen. and how to overcome the trials of this world. Amen. Because many say, well, I cannot do it in the flesh. But Christ came and he overcame. He says... <laughs> Jesus said, I go, and, and you shall follow thereafter. I remember the disciples said, we know not the way. Man. Jesus said, I am. I am the way. How can we say we know not the way? We oftentimes lose focus, taking our eyes off the real purpose, why we do what we do, and self steps in especially when we are praised and exalted and lifted up, we always want to take credit for ourselves. But Matthew again says, Behold, one cometh, one came, and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest me good? There is none good but but." There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep my commandments. How can we say we know not the way? John again says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than him that sent him. Remember, we are all one father's children. We're all seeking that kingdom. We're all seeking <laughs> deliverance. He was made in the likeness of men, taking on the form of a bondsman. Jesus did not empty himself of his deity or any of his attributes or his equality with God, but humbled himself, although you have authority, we must know how to humble. Luke says, and one of the male factors which will hung, hung railed with, uh, <coughs> hung railed on him saying, if thou be Christ, save thyself and save us. But the other answered, rebuking him saying, does not thou not fear God, seeing that thou art in the same con condemnation? And we indeed justly 
we indeed justly for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing amiss. Yet he climbed up upon the cross. He voluntarily climbed up upon the cross. The early eight verse says, and being found in the fashion of men, he humbled himself. How many of us knows how to humble? We know the word. We know how to define it. But we don't know how to act upon it. God has formed and fashioned us in accordance to his purpose. That we might fulfill the reason why he created us. Jesus said, if ye know me, ye, ye have known the Father, for I am on my Father's business. God will provide us with the necessities needed to carry out His command once we trust in His Word and in the power of His might. The Scripture says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and he shall direct thy pathway only if we humble ourselves i'm online I'm lowering online. ourselves i'm online i'll call you back luke says and and when jesus came to the place he looked up and saw him and said unto him zacchaeus make his come down for today i must do abide in thy house and he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. God wants to receive us jo joyfully only if we would come down from our high horses. Romans says it like this. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are of the Lord. For whosoever shall save his life shall lose it, and whosoever loses life for my sake shall find it. For li for the living that they for for living know that they shall die, but the dead know nothing, neither shall they any more be reward. For the memories of them are forgotten. The Bible says us we have to serve God while we are living. The dead cannot praise God. At the end of life cometh judgment. Prepare ye the way of the Lord and make his path straight. We ought to keep in mind, man that is born of a woman is a few days, what? And full of trouble. Full of trouble. But yet God provides a way for us. Whether the night for us, whether God also has highly exalted him and given him a name above every name. Why? Why was he exalted and given a name above every name? Other than he was obedient to the will of the Father and his command. John says, And as Moses lifted up the servant in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Philippians says it like this, that at the time, at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and every everything on earth and everything under the earth. Do we humble ourselves? We are, we are, <laughs> we are talking about lifting it, being lifted up. How can we be lifted up unless we be, we be brought to a lower state? Genesis says it like this, If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin lies at the door, and unto thee shall be the de his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. We want to do well, that we, re we, we are rewarded accordingly. If we sow to the flesh, we are bound to reap of the flesh, but if we sow to the spirit, the Bible tells us there's life and peace. The 10th verse, that in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and everything in heaven and everything in earth and everything under the earth. The Bible tells us, what for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that what whosoever believeth shall not perish but have everlasting life. I will repeat it. Whosoever believeth shall not perish, but have everlasting life. 
Fall down. Stoop down. Drink and live. He was humbled in that he took the form of a man and not more glory. As an angel, he humbled in that he was born into obscurity and a poor place. Remember, he was born in a stable. So this humility we're talking about now, he was born into poverty among despised people. He was born as a child instead of appearing as a man. Humility. He submitted to the obedience appropriate to a child in his household. He was not an unruly child. He humbled, he humbled himself, learning and practicing the trade of a builder. He humbled himself long waiting until he launched out into the public ministry. He waited, humbling himself. He humbled himself in the audience. He appealed to the way he taught. He didn't tell you something that he didn't do of himself. This is the reason why he said, you know, when you see me, you see the Father. I am the way, such as you've seen me do, do. He humbled himself, submitting himself to the Holy Spirit. He humbled himself in the form of agony when he went to the cross. Shamed, mocked, publicly, publicly humiliated. He humbled himself. Spiritual agony of the sacrifice on the cross. He humbled himself. The 11th verse. And that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Bible tells us it's only out of the abundance of the heart the mouth will speak. If you don't have it in you, it is impossible for it to come forth. The combination of tongues confessing and kneeling, bowing, gives evidence that the idea is a complete submission to Jesus. God doesn't want lip service, but he, God is a God of action. God is a God that, that, that he says, when I send out, nothing shall return unto me void. Jesus returned to heaven with more than what he left with. He was sent for a purpose. I remember when the end was near, he looked up and he said, Father, into thy hands. All that thou hast given unto me, none have been lost. He fulfilled his purpose. Are we working as a good apprentice, apprenticeship? He gave to help them to understand hardship. He gave it to help them to practice real Christian unity in the midst of hard times. It's not going to be easy. It was, this, this one was never promised to be a federal bed of ease. But we know too well, once we labor in Christ, we shall receive a reward. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice. Be exceedingly glad. For great shall your reward be in heaven. Taking that strange when you fall into diverse temptation for the working of your feet is a test and patience will decide. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. This is the prayer of my heart in the name of Jesus, almighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Family in Christ, praise be to Almighty God. As I said, the, the lesson today is Philippians, the second.
Philippians, the second chapter, 611. These are the reference. Second Corinthians, fourth, fourth chapter, the fourth verse. Philippians 2, 6 to 11. Beginning from the 6th, 2 Corinthians 4, 4. 7, Psalm 22, the 6th verse. Psalm 22, the 6th verse. 8, Psalm the 40th, the 6th to the 8th verse. Psalm 40, 6 to 8th verse. Nine, you have Matthew, the 20th chapter, the 18th verse. Matthew, the 20th chapter, the 18th verse. Nine, we have Romans 4, 11. Romans 4, 11. And 11, you have James, the 13th chapter, the 13th verse. My words to you this morning. Remember, you know, fellowship is one of the keys to our spiritual growth. Don't take it lightly. Fellowship requires conf confession of our faults. In order to go before we can praise, the Bible tells us that we need to confess our faults before God. And we need to strive to, perf to perfection. So continue to strive in Jesus' name. Remember my words to you today about careful with those that influence us. Judge everything in the spirit of God. Choose this day which God you serve. And he promised that all will be right. Even when we slip and slide, remember, there is God. But do not be presumptuous. One of the things that I try to, to us always remember, we are, we are human beings. We, 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 we are subjects to mistakes, but recognize God. And anytime you make a mistake, remember, God is there. Plead your cause before God and careful of the people that you are that you are dealing with. Careful how you speak into God people. Careful how you influence in God people. Because most of the time, it, it, I have to say it end up right here. People ask questions. I am not going to lie to them because I, I, I you know, I'm, as I said, I'm not looking for a friend. I'm too close to the ground to look for a friend. Right now, I'm trying to save my soul. Bishop John, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Praise the Lord for that. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, we, our Lord is right there. And he, he, he what this song right I say, Pick up your load and come along. I say, Pick up your load and come along. Pick up your load and come along. Now meet me up among Zion Hill. Teacher say, Come along. Oh, Jesus say, to Come along. Copy load and come along, meet me up among dry and hill. Mother say, come along, teacher mother say, come along, Bishop Ashby say to come along, meet me up among dry and hill. Oh, pick up your load and come along, I say, pick up your load and come along, I say, pick up your load and come along, meet me up among dry and hill.